In this video, we fix an oil leak by replacing pretty much everything. Oh. It's gotta be done. Lovely. Right. Let's crack on. Well, welcome to um, another day in the workshop. We are now two days away from ferry departure. I'm probably going to hit the road tomorrow um, because I want to do some fettling on Friday after we've given this engine a run. But um, first of all, I think I'm going to do another compression check because if we're getting the head off, um, and I, I suspect the valve seats aren't very healthy. It might be worth doing something about that. I'm not sure yet, but we'll start digging into it. My mate Colin is due here within the hour, but let's see what the compression's doing. Right, keep an eye on that, will you? No manifolds on, so she's already effectively at wide open. Ah, that's better. That was getting on for 150. Um, and the slight issue is um, I completely forgot that of course the fuel pipe is still connected up um, so there's no petrol squirting everywhere that's nice and smelly right tinkering time is upon us we have a guest to CV and we have a guest in the garage hello this is Colin Colin owns the Matra Morena um, in one of my previous videos if you haven't seen that turn your speakers up go and watch it it is a lot of fun but um, yeah we're just gonna pull this engine to bits and see what's what. So we're just getting the cowlings off, and um, we'll get the cylinder head feed bolts off. I've forgotten those before, that's always fun. Why won't this head come off? <laughs> yes. And then um, we'll be in. Well, the news isn't good having um, got our way in. Look at that water staining in the bores. Uh, probably not desirable. You can see a hint of honing mark in there, oddly just in one direction, really. But yeah, that's not ideal. So now we're pondering whether to go 652 on this block. Um, it might be the better option at this stage. So we've made the decision. We are going to um, fit the pistons and barrels from the 652 um, because of the damage we've discovered. Because this engine was stored outside for so many years, um, yeah, I think the. Um, water has definitely got into the bores so um, not good you can also just about make out the line where the piston sat when um, it was just sitting and not being used so yeah I think we'll say that's enough for those pistons and barrels and we'll fit um, the heads off the other engine the pistons and the barrels uh, which means I've got upgraded seals for the pushrod tubes and that uh, means we'll go back to extra power. It does mean I've got to reject the carburetor again. But such is life. <laughs> right, so now we have no pistons and barrels on the engine at all. So, so we're ready to fit the um, 652 kit. It must be said, this crankshaft, there's no play at all in there. And um, on the other engine, there was a fair bit of play. So that's looking positive. Um, Colin has suggested that maybe on the other engine this stud had come undone because I, I've managed to strip the thread on the nut on this end which suggests it was bottoming out before it had actually achieved full torque so we're checking these are definitely nice and tight before proceeding further but we're getting there it doesn't feel like it but we're definitely getting there we're running by lunchtime yeah yeah <laughs> driving around just after lunch So, while I was um, undoing the clips to get the gudgeon pins out, um, Colin was using this um, finless barrel to lap the cylinder heads. So we've got a nice clean mating face in there. Uh, so we're just about to fit barrels and pistons. So we've got our little Daleks here, ready to go. Arrow towards the front. Yep. Very important that they fit the right way around. Mm. 
and we've already got the pistons in the barrels. Someone definitely didn't pull one of the barrels off by mistake earlier. That definitely wasn't me. That didn't happen. No, it wasn't on camera, so it didn't happen. That's one off. And there's one slight difference between the two pistons because the originals are held in tiny little clips like these uh, inside the pistons, whereas the Burton ones have little circlips. Which is better. Which is better and um, yeah, le less pinging and damaging the eyes. ceremony is we wind the pistons in so we can then get the barrels apparently that's a lot easier to do with um, two hands oh okay we're gone yours going yeah it's going in yeah, good i just stopped because i just wanted to check what you were doing there we go That'll be the one that the piston didn't come out of then. Yeah. I'm fully home. Yep. 652 pistons and barrels are in. And we've um, swapped the push rods over because, again, uh, the push rods are looking a little bit crusty. Um, so clearly that engine got plenty of moisture in it at some point. Probably find out it's been under sea. But it was left outside wrapped in tarpaulins in Wales, so what do you expect? It's not being in the sea, isn't it? Yeah. Ideal spare engine then, really, one that's been underwater. Yes. Right, it's just exciting times again. It's time to give the 652 in the new block a run. Um, this will either be exciting or terribly disappointing. We've kind of got the exhaust resting in place. It's not actually um, connected up. So um, I should probably give you a mild noise alert at this point. Uh, battery. Battery. Battery yeah. might help. To connect the battery up. That's on. Right. Oh yeah, I've got an oil pressure light now. It makes a surprising difference. That's good. Uh, we're in neutral, yes. Float dolls will be empty again. There we go. I think that's um, convincing enough to um, actually fit an exhaust properly. I think so. But maybe first T. Mm, yes. T. Right. First start up with full exhaust. Still a bit uneven on the idle, that's interesting. I wonder if I'll plug the um, idle jet up or something. And sweet enough, we'll let it get out to temperature, burn all the oil off the exhaust and uh, make sure there are no leaks. Another day, another hoon. Oh yeah, this feels good. This feels much quicker than the 602. I'm glad Colin talked me into this. I did want to stick with a 602 just because it sounded really sweet, but there was evidence of water damage. 
and the um, walls were very glassy, very polished. Not what you want, really. I'm sure with a hone I can use them again, but um, this feels much better. See the sea in the distance, we're still about eight miles from town. Brakes are still a little cruddy as they clear off the um, debris. I did give them a soaking brake cleaner before coming out. Good times! Hopefully after this drive she won't be leaking oil everywhere. Right, well we've had our extended test drive and um, all was feeling pretty good and uh, that's looking a lot drier. Excellent. Hopefully we've finally sorted all this out. Let's just have a quick peek at the oil. That's been sitting for a while now. Um, yeah, I'll have to wipe and re-sit, re-dip rather, but I think that looks pretty good. Ow! Oh! That's that finger injury um, from the other video where I pinged off the flywheel. Oh, I keep battering it. It's not comfortable. But um, yeah, on, on the re recent test drive, she was just pinking a bit. So I'm gonna have to get the fan off and do the ignition timing and um, just check it all out again. I mean, we've done nothing that should change the ignition timing. Yeah, timing was a little bit too advanced. And she wasn't tolerating that. Now we've put the compression ratio up. Uh, 9 to 1 compression, I think, on these 652 pistons. Yep, seems to be pulling cleanly now. That is it then. I've had enough. Um, she runs well enough. She doesn't seem to be leaking oil, so I'm going to call it. I'm going to say we are officially good to go on our road trip to Croatia. Uh, the journey starts tomorrow morning, so I need to pack, uh, or we'll pack some spares and some tools. Not enough to satisfy you. Uh, I think we can guarantee that pretty much, because where do you draw the line? I've only got a limited amount of space. I can't take everything. I'm not going to take a spare engine. Um, what, what you try and take is the stuff that will um, absolutely stop you and anything else hopefully I can find um, on, along the way. Um, there aren't too many fixed deadlines so hopefully there's a bit of time to play with. Anyway that's enough. Um, thank you for your comments. Uh, I know some of you have enjoyed this. This is not fake jeopardy. This really has been the complete pain in the backside. It has been. It's just actual life um, for me. <laughs> um, I think the lesson here is maybe I shouldn't build engines. You see, I could have got Sparrow Automotive to build me a 652 engine or even a 720 engine. Um, but A, that would have cost a lot of money because specialists who can actually build engines um, actually charge, although I'm not sure they're all necessarily very good at making any money at what they do. Um, and um, you wouldn't have seen any of the build. So hopefully it was more interesting to see me making a ham-fisted attempt. But I shall leave you for now. I shall say thank you very much. Stay tuned, there will be videos coming. Um, I'm hoping to be able to edit and produce along the way so I won't keep you waiting while I have my road trip to Croatia in a 2CV. Um, hashtag 2CV to Croatia um, on Twitter and on Instagram when I remember to use it. Um, otherwise, yes, yeah, stay tuned to the channel. There will be more updates. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, subscribe if you wish. Um, buy Hubnut merchandise if you wish. And I shall see you in a future video. Farewell.